Do you edit a lot of TikToks and Instagram Reels and you want to save time by creating a preset for your sequence on a vertical format? Premiere Pro has no presets for vertical format, which is ridiculous, but they now introduced vertical workspace, so at least something. That means we always have to manually create a sequence 1080 by 1920, so switch the values in the vertical video. I will save you some time in the future and I'll show you how you create and save a preset for your sequence. Do subscribe and also check out the thanks button under this video. So this is how you do it. Go to File, New, Sequence, Command N or Control N as a shortcut and this will open up the dialog, okay? So from the presets that you see based on the camera that you're using, you know, Premiere Pro is trying to make it easy for actual professionals. However, you see my custom ones. So whatever you create and save as a preset, it's gonna go into your custom folder. And once you open this, you will see all your presets. So instead of looking for the right one and then changing it, you can just go ahead and click from your presets immediately. So for example, this is my vertical one. So if you don't have that, which you don't, of course, that's why you're on this video, what you have to do is you can basically, whatever is open for you right now, so let's say it's gonna be, uh, no, actually this one. So any kind of progressive video, so let's do like 24, okay. So whatever by default is open, we're gonna change that. So I'm gonna go to settings. From the editing mode, I'm going to go all the way up and click on custom, because I'm gonna change that. Basically everything. Um, time base, it's going to be 30 frames per second. This is our base for social media. This is the standard for social media. Right here, frame size. Okay, so this is aspect ratio 16 by nine. So what we have to do, we have to create nine by 16. So basically you just change the resolution right there and nine by 16, just make sure pixels, square pixels are 1.0. So it counts for pixel as 1.0, not like 0 0.999. Um, fields, progressive scan. And this is important. If you do export videos for broadcast, you go to interlaced. So basically upper field, lower field, First, this is how the TV and broadcast is reading the video file from the upper or lower um, field. So you divide the frame into fields. Progressive scan doesn't divide the frame and it's reading and playing the video all at once. Okay, there's no upper or lower field. So this is what you want to do for any kind of online social media, online world, webinars, YouTube, whatever. That's all right. And then... Let's name the preset like vertical or like Instagram reels or whatever you want to name it. And then you save it. So there's a click, um, there's a button right there. So you click on save and then you do the same thing. So you can have the name, you can have the description, you click OK and already exists. OK, so let's do like, I'm not going to save this because it's going to overwrite. When you click OK, it's going to appear custom and it's going to appear all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to delete this for because I don't need it. I already have it, but this is where it's going to appear. So next time you open Premiere Pro, this will literally be there. OK, so literally it's going to be there. So all you have to do when you want to create a vertical sequence and do uh, create Instagram reel or TikTok reel, you just literally open this and you click on your vertical social media Click OK and it's going to open. OK, so like literally I'm going to show you. OK, and I, you, oh yeah, you don't see that. So let me just bring this here. Uh, vertical uh, sequence and the best part about if you want to go like all in, what you go, oh, I'm using two screens, two monitors. Um, the best thing about this is if you go into the workspaces tabs or if you go to window workspaces and you go all the way to vertical, what's going to happen is you're going to have vertical workflow as well. So this is the new June 2022 um, update where Adobe introduced vertical format in terms of vertical workspace, not the actual preset of the sequence. Okay. Uh, but it's better than nothing, right? So now we can see the video in its full beauty as it is. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, which you did find it helpful, do subscribe, 
check out the thanks button under the video. Um, watch all of my tutorials. And as you can see at the bottom, you can follow me on social media or check out my podcast. If you want to be on my podcast, yeah, hit me up, comment below for any questions or whatever and um, get in touch with me. So oh, I'll see you next time.